You don't like schmoish? I'm a big fan of schmores all around. I love everything about them. Is a schmores board? I don't really like to eat any one of the ingredients by itself, though. You gotta have a mix together. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's, whoa. it's s'mores. It's s'mores. It's kind of like New Orleans. <laughs> Nolans? Nolans. It's not too, if you right. say two words, that's how we know you're a fucking tourist. Hell yeah. Huh. Fuck yeah, dude. Well, he just got back from the Deutschland. The Deutschland, yeah. Oh, got back from the Deutschland, and I got some more Deutschland beers with me this week upon recommendation. You're smuggling shit in the country? That's right. Ooh, your butthole's going to be That's raw. Right. Boofing out in beers. Anyways. Better, better wipe off that top real quick. Back everybody, <laughs> you totally know called that by the way. This is the uh, Kolbitzer Heidebrauer pills. Still fucking up those pronunciations. Yeah. Shout out to Germany. Always fucking up the pronunciations. If it ain't in English, I ain't pronouncing it right. And half the time, I'm still not pronouncing it. Right. I was gonna say half the time we don't pronounce English right. right. This looks like they crossed a Colt 45 with the Schlitz. Right. It basically is same thing. It, so this is uh, the malt liquor. Yeah, it's been uh, around since 1872. These colors right. are very Mexican, family owned. You see that? Uh, so purity of all. The uh, thing that makes this different is they use a special type of water that comes from the ground reserves out there called it's Hilda white. Water or it's white. Sure it's Heather Water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see here something about a Germany purity law. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, kind of strange, right? We're not we talking had, about that. There. There's the about 5,000 languages on the side of this can. Where's that funny cross? Uh, anyways, <laughs> they use the, uh, the water, <laughs> and uh, like it? it has antibacterial. This is where the, the purity thing comes in, guys. The yeah. uh, antibacterial trait to the water that makes it so that they don't actually have to do anything to treat it. They're keeping it white and they do follow. They do follow the, <laughs> the German purity standards of what they can sell and what they can produce, though. <laughs> Filtered by sand. Pure shit right here. Finest German quality. Mm. So, whoa, 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 whoa. So they filter this pure white water with brown sand? Yeah, most sand is brown when it's wet. You don't see that, bro? I'm not in Germany lift, anymore. Lift, I don't see lift, it anymore. Lift your, hat, lift your hat up. Expose that third eye. You see what's going on here. <laughs> right. You see what's going on Unsheath here. Unsheath your my mind. My people's brown out here now. all the work. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Yeah, this tastes like a cheap-ass German beer to me, man. It, like it smells it's like, like very fucking, sweet. It's got a very that's what I'm sweet saying, like a heavy am. Budweiser. Yeah. No, this smells like all my uncles when I was a kid. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Cheap. It's, it, it smells like the fucking recycle bin outside of your house after a weekend. <laughs> yes. You know. It's got that uh -oh, that beer water, <laughs> that beer juice, garbage water smell Both to it. Both smells are the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's like sugar water with uh, somebody just took a handful and just like ground up the grains. If somebody walks up to you and they talk and it, you smell this on their breath, you're definitely going to get a dollar. Yeah, this is um, you know, weird, man. 1872 and you still get away with making it taste like that, huh? Ew. Yeah, no, it definitely is not a very... Ew. I would say this would probably be a fire beer. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying, camping beer. Yeah, like where you're out, outside, definitely. I would approve when you're this outside, for camping. so fucking cold that you don't care what store, it tastes like. You, you, you just want to warm the fuck up. Like, no, this is a oh, we yeah. don't have any other choice but to drink this shit or spend the rest of the weekend sober type beer. You guys can't see this, but all these broken spaghettis on here. Obviously, this is very popular in uh, the Asian countries. Mm. Yeah, I don't know mm. which one. Hmm. Oh, let's see here. It's oh, it's imported by Iron Horse Beverage. It's fucking gross. I'm not drinking from that New York. Anymore. Yeah, thanks, guys. That's gross. Hmm. It I don't know. Tastes like somebody dropped a pickle inside of like a warm malt liquor. I will tell you that I bet you if you added a pickle to it, it'd probably be better. Shout out Joe Bang. <sighs> Joe Bang puts pickles and other phallic shaped <laughs> objects in everything that he consumes. Definitely. We don't kink shame. Whatever you got to do to get by is your business. But Hell yeah. Yeah, I bet you if you turn this into a red beer. Yeah. That would probably be a good combination too. Doing anything with it other than drinking it as it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that it's bad. That's, it all, just that's needs, all you, big dog. You it needs a little something. 
Yeah, I'm halfway minutes. through. Maybe I'll come back. But what's that other one? You, got? <laughs> no, you ready for the other one? Yeah, so we are. One? Okay. But I mean, yeah. if you're eating broths and stuff, this thing will go down pretty good. Oh, if you have something else to mask the taste yeah. in your mouth, it's really good. Hopefully, this beer is better. Oh, snap. Let's go. Hopefully, you can open it. Yeah, hopefully. Should what's in the box? Oh, okay. So you showed this is me the Weltenberger Kloster. I saw this beer. What's I did not drink this beer. Box? Yeah, I, I don't know. This tequila, a, it's a Martin beer. I was confused. I tried to look up some information about it, but their in, or their uh, online website only had wow. German to offer me a language to read in, and I. Well, as the internet would say, fine then, keep your secrets. Oldest monastery Correct. brewing of the world. Yeah, it's been around since the year one thousand and fifty. Whoa, almost a thousand years old. Well, their competition is not that hard. So I hope yeah, so I mean, they even use, yeah, if they're going to put I mean, this, I mean, I can see what were people drinking a thousand years ago, there. man? I'm kind of yeah. scared here. They're still fighting yeah, the Crusades. A thousand year old uh, beer recipe? That tastes like shit, too. But not as much as shit as that. Yeah, it's definitely mm. fucking weird. It tastes like it's got, like, caramel corn or Cracker Jacks in it or something. Hell yeah. Either that or I'm having a fucking stroke. Uh, if. One side of my face is drooping. Somebody let me know in the comments. It'll be way too late by the time I see it. But I mean, it's crazy that we've never had any beers like these ever. These, these are so different because they're fucking disgusting. Than yeah. what we all these places have. that they say to recycle and you can get money to Puerto Rico. Do not litter. Do not litter. Yeah, don't litter. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> do not litter. Yeah. They don't recycle. In That's Puerto their Rico. fucking slogan for the uh, country. There. I'm telling them. They recycle all their cans <laughs> and turn them into motor vehicles. Hey, I don't know how I feel about this one. This one's definitely weird. These are fucking gross. We're going to have to pour these out for the dead homies. All right. <laughs> Damn. Foreign beer ruined the fucking... Ruined the day. You got to give it at least two swigs. Doesn't smell like shit. Just to make sure... It doesn't, oh. it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like water. So now, which is but better? It tastes like shit. Yeah. I... Which is better? Uh, I'm going with this one. I'm going to finish this one. This is... What uh, what tastes better to you, a drunk uncle or Cracker Jacks? I'm gonna go with Cracker Jacks. I'm gonna go with Cracker Jacks too. That's if, pretty if safe somebody out there, there probably prefers to taste a drunk <laughs> uncle. That's your business. This that's definitely not me. This tastes like licking the Band-Aid after you pull it off your skin. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck kind of childhood did you have? <laughs> right? It tastes Band-Aids. like Band-Aids. That's the complete opposite. This has like a salty. Yeah. Just this. <laughs> it tastes bitter. like scabs. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of like. It tastes like a scab. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretzel beer. Dude, times are tough. Uh, man. Hey. Skin didn't eat again. You got dinner. You got to salt the rim Ooh. of that with boogers, bro. Oh, man. Wow. Something to give it some kind of. Some kind I'll of tell substance. you what. Those are horrible. I know what will make these German beers taste better. Some random ass facts about your boy David Hasselhoff. All right. You guys okay. ready for some basic David Hasselhoff 101? That's uh, no some, basic. Is, is this no ho- basic is this to Hoff this? Goss? This is Hoff Goss. Nice. <laughs> Hoff Goss. Yeah. So, Acting like he's a basic bitch or something. You know. Oh, yeah. You know where he got his start in movies? Not on TV. He was a huge star on TV before he got into movies. But when he finally got into movies, what his first role in the movie was? German shit porn. Pretty fucking close. His name was Boner. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a movie called Revenge of the Cheerleaders. <laughs> uh, Revenge of the Cheerleaders? Yeah. I'm not sure what kind of movie that one is, guys, but... It, you was got like the, the, uh, it was like the scary movie of Revenge of the Nerds back in the 80s or 70s? Uh, yeah, I believe it's probably a movie that came from yeah, the 80s. Yeah, probably. It's, it's, a sp- and it's 1976. Holy it shit. came out before the Revenge David of the Nerds. David Hasselhoff's old as shit. Yeah, he's older than hell. So he was like a super vet in the game by the time Baywatch came around. Yeah, he was like in his 40s probably, maybe even older. Because he, he was, he was in fucking Knight Rider. Yeah, he was Knight Rider. In the fucking 70s, I hope early that great in a pair of red shorts when I'm 40. So you know what I'm saying? Dude, speaking What's of, your uh, secret, bro? Is it cheeseburgers and shitty beer? Yes. I don't know if I could. I don't Absolutely. know if I could that no, in order no, to get abs. No, I'm gonna fucking try my best. So here we go. Mm. Yeah, drink them oh. scabs. Drink them scabs. E forty seven. Damn, it definitely does taste like band aids. Now that you said that. Yeah. Uh huh. Not digging it. Mm-hmm. Just put a booger on the end of it. It'll flavor that right up. Fair Before enough. Mix them. Do you guys know that uh, he um, also holds two world records? Yeah, for being the most most watched man on TV and having the most luxurious yeah. faded moule of all time. Nope, even better, being the highest person to be launched with a reverse bungee system into the air. And he got launched 250 wow. feet in the air. That's, that's that's the equivalent of like a superhero jump, <laughs> right? Like, it's like, like taking off like Superman. Just fucking slingshot your fucking ass out there. Like, okay, that's, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. That's pretty dope. Did that's something. That, uh, did you do that during Night Rider? 
Probably. Probably. What happened At when he talked shit to Kit? Yeah. Talking that heat to Kit. Kit was like, brother fucker. Take Michael, a I will catch what would be, you. What would be scarier, though? Because I, I, I have a fear of like heights and shit. That's why I want skydive. I want bungee jump, all that shit. That sounds intriguing as shit, and my mind's like, dumbass. Yeah, no. You got to come back down after getting shot up <laughs> yeah, in the fucking for sky. Sure. <laughs> there ain't no, ain't no yeah. net up there to catch what, me. What, yeah, for sure. What are you going to land on? The the ground? The ground. It's a soft ground. <laughs> That's what it is. Have you seen ground. how they do that? It's just two cranes. Oh, yeah, just pull, like a bungee thing? And then oh, they just, yeah. un- they like just a slingshot? You. Oh, yeah, like, the, you're a slingshot. like the thing on the, at, okay. the, at the county fair and shit? That's pretty dope. <laughs> I would definitely sign and up And then to you're do just hanging thing. up there, and then they lower you back down. Yeah, fuck yeah. So, uh, giving a shout-out to both Germany again and Australia this week, because we are loving our international friends. What up, Steve? Before the Hoff was huge in Germany, he was very big in Australia. When he, when he was just a yeah. Huff and not a Hoff? Yeah, that's correct. When he was uh, huffing through the Outback. He, uh, the whole term of don't hassle the Hoff actually originated in Australia, which is like one of the biggest fucking quotes of his uh, mm. little career there. Mm. Well, huge career there. Huge. Mm. Huge. Very big the career. You know? The big list. The big list. Yeah, that's pretty fucking interesting to be that dude. He uh, Spread out over a long time. It's a quite girthy career. Right. Mm-hmm. Mega girth to it. It's got mad weight on it. <laughs> <laughs> he drops it on the table. <laughs> Boom! He, uh... He said that the uh, the slow mo scenes in Baywatch, the, you know, the infamous badass slow mo. Those were actually shot in regular time. That's just amazing acting. He was able to Correct. run in slow motion, control <laughs> dick, his pecs and everything. Dick it was flop real it was slow, like. ridiculous. Dude, I was thinking about Pamela Anderson, not David. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> I was like, okay. Well, wait we're a talking second. about the Hoff could... man, all right? Not not Pamela Anderson. Well, over you know, Jesus. Okay. No, Pamela like, Anderson's not an international star. She's not even the biggest star in her house. I didn't even know there were <laughs> any other slow motion scenes in that TV oh, there's show. There's shit tons of them. They did that apparently because they couldn't afford to film the uh, entire hour long segment. So yeah. because of finances, they decided to just put things in slow motion and fill clo- up we like can't close 20 off extra the entire minutes beach. of the episode. We got 35 with slow feet for you to run. Running down you the just beach, just reminded like, me of all those shitty movies like Bob. <laughs> right, like where it's yeah, like hella exactly. slow motion. Yeah, it's like two and a half hours long, but it's only forty five minutes of film. Yeah. <laughs> she she like, would why? She Pamela Anderson would have still been a star today had she not done that video with Tommy Lee. Because as soon as everybody saw that video, they're like, oh yeah, what the uh. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pam Anderson completely fell the fuck off after that. Nah, man, Kid Rock was all about it. True too. Ooh, Kid Rock, bro. Kid Rock's dope. <laughs> you know, that dude's crazy, man. I see the red hat and you're over here putting over Kid Rock. I'm just like, uh, I'll, I'll have a moment for you next week. motherfucker after we're done recording here. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to pass by a lot of wooded areas where my phone ain't got no service. Oh, shit. We if I don't show up for next areas. week, this guy right here, he buried me somewhere using a Kid Rock CD to scoop out the grave in the ground. If you get a phone call and nobody's on the end and you hear ball with the ball, <laughs> right? something's happening. <laughs> right? they, get, they get him on the stand in court. He's like, my name is Kid. That's a pretty dope song, though. I'm just going to say. No, I'd sucks. love to see Kid Rock live. Huh? Go to the, go to the next anyways, Trump rally. We're not talking about Charleston, fucking Kid Rock. Y'all got me on a detour. Well, he does here. perform. He he. I, I, I've been told he puts on a good show because he plays yeah, yeah. a bunch of different instruments. He's like he's like, like the yeah. Bruce Springsteen of MAGA. It's fucking crazy. Of MAGA. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's anti that shit. I don't know. I didn't really keep up with Kid all Rock that. Kid Rock is for whoever got shit. the check. Whoever's cutting the check. Kid Probably. Rock is fucking there. He comes down like this, like the Bushwhackers <laughs> in 1988. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Walking Real across shit. that hot ass sand with his bare feet. Shit. Hell yeah. Anyways, back to the Hoff, because that's what we're here for, guys. Mm-hmm. Enough of this kid rocking. Uh, <laughs> I got one last major fact about this dude. This dude's so legit that there is an entire species of crab named after him. It's called the <laughs> Hoff Crab, and they named him that because they have hairy chests and they're little white, long legged white crabs. So they look like okay. his old gangly old ass with is his that, hairy Is that the chest. story you're going with? Because the headline is going to read. David Hasselhoff has his own version of crabs. Correct. <laughs> I mean, I work in the mm-hmm. seafood industry, and I've never heard of these, so you must be oh, talking shit. about but a yeah, different exactly. kind There's of no, crab. <laughs> he's not talking about a seafood delicacy. Oh, no. It's a uh, crustacean of sorts. Yeah, it's but crusty, you, go, right. you go to Germany, <laughs> and things happen, and you fuck around and get the Hoff crabs. Get these Hoff crabs. Get the Hoff crabs, and they span your entire career oh, 40 man. plus years. And then you go to Australia, and then they're like, don't hassle the Hoff crabs. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good for the oh, hop. boy. I thought that uh, revisiting this beer would make it taste better. 
No. David Hasselhoff mm-hmm. got crabs. Lou Gehrig has some disease. What the fuck? <laughs> what are we going to get? I don't know. We're going to get some better fucking beers. Yeah, that's right. That. That's we're for sure. Burger Klost. We'll go to America where there's good-ass beers next week. Yeah, we need to do something for next week because this sucks. Uh, yeah. You those. might get some signs from Harris Psycho. That's right. You can put and a sign meantime, up that says these two beers fucking <laughs> suck. That's a good idea, dude. I'll have them make some little signs over here that we'll hide beers behind, and they'll be like... <laughs> the real battle of the beers in, G- yeah. in German. Don't forget, hit him up at harrisineco at gmail dot com for all your vinyl needs. Always. He's the man. Go over down to Hippie House on eight one zero nine Sixth Avenue. That's the premier glass emporium in all that matter. Mm-hmm. Definitely check them out. They got quality products for you, all sorts of price ranges, anything you need. Oh, better. When you're done with that, make sure you swing by Comics of Gathering one five zero two two Pacific Avenue South, in Tacoma, Washington. Every single, or not every single, I wish it was every single, but it's every other Friday they're doing magic card tournaments and going in, cool. have a that good time. Cool. I've since been informed that nobody's a loser when you go there. Everyone is a winner, so don't be disencouraged by being called a loser in case Even you Even though lose. he's been saying for the last three weeks you're going to go there and get your <laughs> ass kicked. It might happen. You never know. I'm just saying, everybody that plays You're going to go there and get your ass kicked. There's going to be a bunch That's of right. angry magic people outside. And you're like, lightning oh, yeah. bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Right right. The you know why they're winners? Because they have the experience. That's correct. So is it like going to Chuck E. Cheese? Like, even if you <laughs> lose, you get like an eraser or something? Absolutely. You get a ticket. Oh, yeah. shit. You get to walk you get out with ticket. an experience. You know, some knowledge. You get plus one experience. <laughs> a little character sometimes. <laughs> you get to now. walk out with quite an experience. That's what you use your ticket for. Everything a budding millennial might need. <laughs> a butt in millennial. Plus, plus one. Plus one experience. <laughs> Hell yeah. Plus one. Laser plus bolt. One. Plus one. <laughs> a lightning bolt. And with that, everybody, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hashtag, hashtag. <laughs>